now it's time to tighten our home's thermal envelope. The rigid insulation that Sam Rashkin discussed with us is being delivered and our carpenters are ready to hang the material. We've pretty much completed our exterior sheathing of the home. We have our wall sheathing in place and roof sheathing. So the next steps we're going to take is we're going to be adding one layer of rigid insulation to the exterior of the house. And if I had a sample here, I'd kind of, oh, great, we've got a sample. And uh, thank you. What we're going to be doing is this, we're going to be applying this over the system. And what this will do, it'll prevent thermal bridging to the exterior of the home. And with our zip wall system, this becomes our air barrier, but what we're doing is we're taking this a step further. We moved our subframing in about an inch so we're not taking space away from the cavity of the, the home for the brick. And so what this will do is we'll put this on there, and then on top of that, we're going to be adding a layer of water barrier. So any water that weeks through the brick or moisture that gets in from the exterior will be channeled down through the flashing at the subsill of the house. So the house will be watertight, and but what we're doing is we're giving, giving a great envelope to get a better R rating in the home where their exterior will be completely sealed and weathertight. So it's a, it's a good way to do it. It's a good system, and fortunately, we have the capabilities of incorporating it into our home. Since the material is lightweight, it doesn't take long for our carpenters to install the rigid insulation. With the help of a lift, it only takes two carpenters to size and place the rigid insulation before adding the water barrier. The water barrier is rolled out and fastened with nails before the seams are covered with tape. 